I'm Anford Inman from the Youth Sport Trust and I'm a member of the Social Circle and I'm here with Hannah Cockroft today. I'm Hannah Cockcroft, MBE, uh, wheelchair racer on the Great Britain Paralympic Athletics team, um, double world champion, double Paralympic champion and 24 times world record holder. Fantastic. Well, you can obviously tell that you've done loads in Paralympic sport and you're pretty much amazing as it is. <laughs> what, is uh, what is your sort of day to day activity like? So, I know you're a massive McFly fan. Yeah, you know, I guess a little bit about me. Obviously, a massive McFly fan. Um, I follow them everywhere. Uh, also, a really big Jesse J fan as well. I love Jesse J. Um, I guess I'm just like a normal 21 year old, you know. I like to go shopping and see my friends, go to the cinema, see my boyfriend. Um, you know, I seem to spend my life in my car, which is something that I don't enjoy. And I really, really like to sleep. <laughs> That's what everyone does. Um, I know that you're very superstitious with cuff stuff, so a week's gonna see some like red, blue, and like white nails that sport personality next week. I don't think the red, white, and blue nails will go away from my dress. Um, no, you know, I have so many superstitions when I'm racing. Sally, my chair's always got to be clean, my chairs have always got names. Uh, I always eat a banana for a race. I paint my nails to match either my chair or my kit. Um, I always listen to Skep to hold on before a race. You know, there's so many things I have to do. It's just a nightmare and such a busy day. Um, but yeah, no, uh, sports personality, maybe you won't see them come out, but everyone's going to look at my nails now, so I better make sure they're at least nice and maybe matching my dress in some way. <laughs> yeah, we we'll would definitely count for those. Um, and I did hear you mention that you were going to do some sort of striking photos towards the end of your races so like a robot or something so have you come up with something that relates to Hurricane Anna? No I can't you know we've tried all sorts of things but there's just no motion you can do that represents Hurricane Hannah so if anyone can kind of think of one and send it off to me it would be brilliant. <laughs> it's your moment get them to get, in the, get them involved. Okay everyone watching has got to make up my own signature move for Hurricane Hannah and uh, and you can see me perform it at the end of a race. Every race. From Every that's race. Really, that's, that's a signature movement. That's there a you go. Exactly. <laughs> um, one more thing that we wanted to talk about was how do you keep yourself like motivated and I know it must be really busy like being away from home quite a lot so how do you keep yourself motivated? I think, you know, especially now, it's easy because I know exactly what it feels like to win and I know how good it feels to be on that podium. So I kind of use that memory and I can think, okay, this is why I'm doing it, this is why I need to train. I think before London, before I kind of had that experience, it was a pure drive of wanting to know what it felt like. So some days it's really hard you get up and I don't want to train, I don't want to go out in the cold, I'm tired. And there's every excuse, but I guess that's what splits the champions aside from the rest of the athletes. And you've kind of just got to find the reason why you love the sport, because if you're not going to do it every day, then you're clearly not in love with what you do. Yeah. We're well, definitely a champion, there's no doubt about that. So best of luck for Spotty anyway, we're definitely voting for you. Thank you. The first one's not bothered. You nearly got it all in. I nearly got it all in, but I've gotten this one because I'm that good.